Hi and welcome. Uh, time for another episode. It's been a while and uh, it's a new arrival episode. Uh, got quite a lot of stuff to show you today. So it's gonna be a pretty long one. Uh, we'll dive right in and uh, we'll start with the one playing in the background. Uh, Svart Erit. Uh, and this is the album one. Uh, this is a repress because uh, the original presses is expensive as hell and I managed to get this one and uh, two follow-up albums for a, quite a nice price so I'm happy with that uh, only thing is that uh, they have such fucking horrible artwork compared to the originals but uh, uh, the music is what matters anyways, so really nice one, as you will hear. Then we have number two. Really competent pieces of work. It's on a oxblood black haze vinyl, and it's the same with all three of them. Same color. And this is some really nice black metal. Uh, the guy behind it, or the one wrote, that wrote the music, Sir N, is well known in the black metal community. He has released tons of great stuff. And here's number three. So, really glad to finally have these ones in uh, my collection. Then I managed to get this one as well. Uh, been wanting to have this one for a while now. And uh, I have the follow up album, but I missed out on this one, so I found it. Uh, Diaphilium, Sprungen ur Lust. A really nice record. Came with this lyrics insert, and it's just an uh, ordinary black vinyl. Really a nice, um, atmospheric, and sort of melancholic black metal. Then we have a little pile from Nordvis production and uh, the new Blig, Blig album, Ödin. Only listen to this one time. Yep, but a really nice looking vinyl I think it's the first time I really see a colored vinyl in this fashion so really nice and a really great album as well and this came with this insert And 
then we have one of the last year's best releases in uh, my opinion the album Fedra Minne with uh, Varde Norwegian band and I would say that this is quite experimental it's black metal in essence but uh, they've uh, come up with some really nice stuff and riffs in this one so I highly recommend that you check this one out really nice inner sleeves so I will put the vinyl in a better one regular black I was talking a bit to Nord, one of the guys behind this project and uh, I made well, uh, we discussed the album and uh, I really think there are some similarities to uh, Mike Oldfield's uh, Tubular Bells uh, not the way it sounds or anything but uh, just the progression of some songs and uh, the experimental stuff with it so uh, yeah check it out really great stuff then we have the new album by Bron listened to a teaser of one of the songs and uh, I was hooked instantly really great album black vinyl with a really nice label sticker really atmospheric stuff quite curious as well so check it out quite long tracks but I don't mind We got this another one by Blake. And uh, you could uh, consider this an EP, I guess. So, only three songs on here. No insert or anything. Ordinary black vinyl. Then I finally got around to get uh, the three albums by Panfage. This is Storm. Really like how this black metal sounds. Ordinary black vinyl. Sadly, Panfage doesn't exist anymore. But the three albums that was released is really great stuff and 
then we have my favorite with ten page, Yud. And especially the first track, Hodal Markina. It's a real beautiful song. This is also on an ordinary black vinyl. Insert with the lyrics as well. And then we have the last album, Drengskaper. This is on a colored vinyl. Blue vinyl with black smoke. Really beautiful looking actually. Black metal like this isn't made anymore. Like the one you hear in the background, sadly. This is the standard folks should strive towards. Not the overproduced shit that they're doing today. Don't get me wrong, there is some... Uh, Black metal bands today that still get what it's all about, but in general, there's just no. Then I managed to get this one. Uh, it's a new album by some young kids. I think they're, the oldest one is 21. And their other ones are around 17, 18, 16, or something like that. Sarkator. I guess you could call it uh, black and trash or something like that. And don't let the, their age fool you, they really know what they're doing. Can we just insert? See a picture of the young boys? I'm pretty sure that these will do great things in the future. And I managed to get a hold of the nice splatter version on the vinyl. There is a gold one as well and a uh, regular black one as well I think. Sarkator. Check them out. I've mentioned them before because I have the tape release as well. And I showed that in the last or last episode I think or the one before that. So that's it for the vinyls. Well I have a special one, a vinyl box, but I was thinking we take that last. So uh, on towards the tapes. And uh, first up we have Armageda. Let's see if I can open this. So this is a re-release by Norvis Production and uh, it's only true believers. On a printed black tape. one and uh, some tips for uh, your cassette if you want to I don't know record over it or something which 
I don't understand why I would. I only have, I already have this on vinyl and CD, but I needed a tape release as well. Then we, I heard a Norwegian band not so long ago, uh, band Hov Mood. And uh, this, this is the release Dots Formation. There is a vinyl release as well, but I wanted the tape release. Dark blue cassette with pro printed. And a really nice J card and it's numbered. So it's number 29 out of 50. And it was bought straight from the band, so I managed to get the signatures as well. And this is some really nice black and deaf metal, I guess you could call it. Really great stuff, so check it out. Then we have a bunch of releases from uh, Azor, Azor Gral again. I've been talking about them quite a lot through the episodes. Uh, does some really stellar releases on tapes. Gold Pro printed tape, and this is Lycopolis, the procession. And as usual, the J car is in awesome uh, quality. And if I'm not entirely mistaken, ah, I'm keeping quiet. I think they're from Egypt or Middle East or something, but yeah, a country you didn't really, that isn't known for the black metal, so to speak. And we have a split with uh, Vampirska and Glemt. I bought this for the Vampirska side because I really like that release. The other one is good as well, but not equal. A really nice J card here as well. And this is available on vinyl as well. If you haven't heard or checked out uh, Ashore Gral's uh, releases, do that. Uh, he just re recently re released a pre-order of uh, an old classic, uh, The Moaning, uh, black, black and Death metal project from Sweden uh, that was active in the 90s. Uh, really nice album, and it's hard to find. I know there is a vinyl press out there, but it's expensive as hell, so I'm glad it's going to tape as well. So here's the next one, uh, black pro printed tape and uh, Morior, the ghost of Amor Proper. Bit of different artwork than you're used to. Then we have the new release by the man Mulla. This is a hot topic uh, because they're an uh, Islamic black metal band. And the, their lyrics are just way out there. It's not the usual uh, anti-Christian stuff, and but uh, the music is really great, and uh, that's what I concentrate on. I don't mind lyrics at all. I see the vocals as an instrument, so I don't really pay attention. 
to the lyrics. Don't make, don't take me wrong. I appreciate good lyrics, of course, but it has to speak to me, not to everyone else. I don't care. If I like them, I like them. If I don't like them, I don't like them. But uh, music-wise, and uh, yeah, top-notch release. And then we have another tape. I already have two tape releases on this particular release, but uh, it's a band that I collect everything I can. And it's Lips Leda, as you know. I've been talking about them. I did a special on them when I unboxed the new album, where there were two vinyls, two tapes, and a lot of merch. And uh, now I have the American release of the Besegrade Livet Silver Pro Printed Tape A really nice J card So feels good to have everything they've released so far on all types of physical releases so to speak so I have the CDs as well and then we have a one last uh, release uh, and it's a big one so it's gonna take some time but uh, yeah I'll just go and get it and just time this perfectly because this one is over because you can't really open this box without taking a listen to it and ladies and gentlemen it's the Vulcanas box uh, that was made for pre-order last summer so it's taking a shit long of time to actually go from pre-order to holding it in my hand been waiting a long time for this I think it's taken about eight months or so but finally it's here and this is the die hard version which came with this this patch and this sweater t-shirt so really nice and if you watch my other episode, episodes, you know I like Vulcanas and I like Wagner Ödegård. Which has the same guy behind it. I have to open this carefully because I want the sticker. And it's a numbered box. And sadly it's numbered on the sticker on the fucking shrink wrap so I have to cut it out and put it in the box later on uh, number 34 of 91 yeah let's take a close look got some really nice artwork as usual on its Vulcanas Let's open this one up. Just the ordinary lid on the box. And this box contains uh, EPs and uh, rare unreleased tracks and stuff. So, yeah, it's lots of goodies in here. Just 
put this on while we It's a picture disc. All these are picture discs, except one, which is since I got the die hard version, I have a red vinyl. And uh, if you didn't get the die hard version, you have a black one. Uh, though they did another die hard version uh, because there was some really big troubles with this box uh, and there wasn't as many red vinyls printed as first thought or something like that so they made a, another die hard version uh, and uh, yeah there was a black why not instead? I think I've got this on the wrong page. Just to make it clear, I really don't like picture discs I think it's seldom that they play good but I need to, to have this box no matter what so yeah speaking of this was released by Regain Records your thoughts on uh, this guy's project, uh, Vulcanas, Wagner Ödegård, Tom Hitt. well he's done a bunch of stuff, it would be fun to hear what you think about it, so just leave some comments down below, and here's the last vinyl in this box. So a picture disc. So that this definitely is one of my most prized. Sessions in the collection. Really great to have this finally. So, yeah, that's all for this episode. Hope you stumble upon something new. 
and uh, yeah if you have something you would recommend just put it in the comments and i'll check it out so have a nice one